as well. Today, today we have a game between A Track Sub versus DR. Uh, last week, DR played Aatrox main, and it was a very intense game. So I'm very curious to see how DR play against the Aatrox sub team. We are using Source TV today, which is awesome. So expect the classic uh, uh, Source TV bugs. I do not believe that there will be a pistol or knife round. Yep, this is live. Give me one second to double check my mic. Right, we are going live. I don't know what that is. There you go, there's a gun. All right, so let's see how this game goes. We are live. It is Aatrox Sub versus DR. I'm very curious to see how many people get a pick on the cross. Looks like Quicksilver throwing a smoke I have not seen but is in the game. I have played around with that smoke personally. Ah, very nice smoke by Greedy. Both teams looking to play it really slow. I don't think both teams, yeah, both teams actually put smoke and nades, a lot of nades. This is very awesome. I'm very glad to see a lot of these teams play, uh, trying out these nades and smokes. Um, a lot of, I didn't really see ooh Quicksilver with a nice kill onto Molo. I actually am not sure where he was, but Conqueror as well with a nice shot through the cross there. Looks like Aatrox is setting up on these really nice corners, making sure. Oh, he does take shots, but Nick gets that reflex flick on the Davy very nicely there. But Sentry also gets a kill on a Conqueror, and Source TV did not catch that one. Oh, yeah, I believe he whipped around the corner. There is a lot of lag with this source tv i'm not too sure why i think it just might be some of the players have higher ping plus my ping as well so greedy here i, I believe security is in control of b man this is jittery i i'm not too sure what's going on Ooh, but quicksilver oh see Qu you saw quicksilver there he's in that uh dumpster in between b and a looks like security is capped c a little bit but as you can see business is Holding down this point and Quicksilver is watching the cross so that he can get into there. Wow, really nice round by insurgents. I'm going to alt tab real quick. Alright, I'm coming back. I wanted to uh, close a few things I had going on to make sure that there was nothing possible touching my internet so that we can get good performance here. Another insurgent smoke being thrown. Uh, insurgents is not really a side that uses smokes, but yeah, he pulls his gun up in the air. He thought that dust particle there was a nade. In fact, it wasn't. Ooh, that was a very nice nade on the right side of the screen there in that alleyway. The Aatrox definitely practiced their nades for this. Not very well done. Sentry with a double kill. No, just kidding. I'm sorry. It was Davy and Sentry, both with single kills here on insurgents in this kill box area. And security is capturing B. My goodness, this is such an insurgent map. Oh, there is a nade coming in on Molano, though. Doesn't get hit. Business comes around the corner. Ooh, sees him through the smoke. Very nice frag. At this point, DR is still contesting. Oh, nice, nice, nice play to check that. However, he doesn't check his right Quicksilver. I don't think they realize that Quicksilver is playing in this in-between alley here. Uh, he does see a player shooting that way. Yeah, he does go down. Very nice shots from uh, Davy there. I don't know why we're still looking at a dead body. Source TV, please. Let's look at the tag map. All right, so in that time, C was captured by security. That's why there was multiple insurgents running B to C. So you have sentry up in this building here. There we go. Now it's switched. So businessman is on this B point. A tracks need this cap, but they're not going to get it because they have already... They're already in the point contesting. So let's see how many frags he can get. Uh, he might be able to get two frags. And if he plays it well, he can ace the team. But that would be extremely hard as I hear a nade. Oh, that was a bad nade throw. Oh, but it got him. I guess not. Source TV, it showed that it bounced off the uh, column there and bounced back into the road. But I don't know. Maybe that player ran out into the road. So it is 1-1. This is exciting. This is exciting. It's, uh, this map is hugely insurgent favor. 
But with those smokes that insurgents are throwing, it's actually helping security cross the road, which is very interesting. I would have never really expected security to throw a smoke to the middle. I would expect them to throw a smoke on their cross, on their side of cars maybe, just to secure their people cross, but still allow sniper box or red truck to shoot across at security. But both teams are smoking and it's working out for them. So Davey is coming back around this corner. This is the M4, as you can tell by the wonderful eyesight. That nade was extremely close. And looks like insurgents have all crossed the road. So let's see if any of these can get a kill. Looks like, oh, wonderful nade by Conqueror through that doorway into the uh, dumpster of security. Very nice. That is something I have not seen any team try of yet which is these uh, a lot of nade throws. And this map has a lot of them. A lot of players don't realize you can throw over the buildings in most cases. So you can throw over the building. You can throw in between these alleyways. There is a firefight for Conqueror and Greedy. And Greedy wins out. I don't really know why Conqueror stopped shooting. Oh, nice run around the corner by business there. Very nicely done. Oh, Greedy with another reflex. Very nicely done. Can he get the last one, though? No, he does not. Businessman takes him down from the B proper. Oh, ATX taking some shots on the back. Sentry comes in, but the business comes in right behind that. So a lot of action here on this B point. There is a nade. Businessman does not go down. So at this point, Davey is going to make his way into B proper instead of uh, B hallway. Ooh, but insurgents are capping this B point. It is a 1v1. It is, oh no, I'm sorry, it's a 1v2. Where is that second security? Insurgent, no, he's watching the C point. So very patient insurgent play. So now they realize that there is a player on this B point. He is checking all these players. He doesn't get that kill. Actually, no, he did. We The camera switched to the insurgent who was shot. So it, I thought he had died. So it now it is a 1v1. There's a nade at Nick's feet. I expect him to, yep, to pick it up and to... Pull the pin, toss it down into proper. Yep, there's that nade. Ooh, almost gets hit through the through the metal grate there. But Nick, with that wonderful nade, takes out Davey. Extremely close round, extremely close round. It is 2-1 on Insurgent. So what I think happens on this map with two very evenly matched teams is that the map should go like 6-1... I'm sorry, 6-2 or 7-1. So right now, security already has one match won. They have pretty much secured a very strong the second half when they switch to insurgents. Excuse me. Assuming they can play it correctly. Oh, Nick with a wonderful snipe on the Milano. Or Molomo? Molomo. I don't know. That snipe is going to be critical for insurgents. More nades coming in. Yeah, it looks like security are playing passive to avoid those nades. They learned their lesson from the first couple times. But they are moving closer up to this B point. They need to be careful coming into this door. This doorway is just a kill fest. It's extremely hard to actually get through the doorway without going down. Quicksilver again sniping through on that dumpster hallway. Uh, the security still haven't figured out what's going on. Nick with another kill there onto Davey as he peeked around the garage. So it is a uh, 2v5. Insurgents have not lost a player yet. C is blinking, so his security did run through the B point into C. Let's see if Nick can find him out. He is checking this back room. Very popular to be playing in this back room, but there's a ton of spots. Ooh, some shots being exchanged. I hope Source TV switches. I want to see what's going on. Ah. The other dirty spot. Sentry is actually prone up on this box, as you can see. His shots were off because Source TV is bugged still. So, he did get that shot. Insurgents are capping B. C is being capped, but it is contested. So, at this point... Yeah, Insurgents cap B. Source TV still doesn't tell you when B gets capped. Oh, that's unfortunate. So, a play is going to happen from Sentry. He tries to come around that corner. Sleazy does take him down though that changes the game to a 1v5 with C almost being capped by security if security had actually gotten that kill he might have been able to capture it for his team so unfortunately Greedy is in a tough position he's got to watch behind him he can't really push up through this way because there's an ATX member right around the corner here plus Quicksilver on the garage watching that so a nice single click from business into Greedy's face 
very nicely done. 3-1. Um, yeah, that, that wasn't the closest round. Um, security did have some good play, but they just lost too many members as they were... Well, they lost one crossing the road, which is critical. That's huge. That is really huge in this game. Um, then they lost another pushing through kill box. Then they lost another pushing through B. So they just lost a lot of members. They need to figure out where Quicksilver is playing. If they can eliminate that insurgent angle, which is through the double grates of B behind on the dumpster. Ooh, that was a bad smoke. It actually hit the hitbox around the top building so it bounced down not being able to land in the road that is unfortunate nades are coming in i expect to hear another one in about two seconds here no no nade on the this there's the nades there's the nades conk with a nice nade there onto malomo these are some really nice nades coming in from both players look at that davy a nade kill onto nick this is what I'm talking about. These teams have definitely practiced their nades and smokes. And it's showing because this is some amazing play. Sleazy is set up on the C point. He does see it. That is linked. It does take down sentry. I expect the second security to come up into the point. Business is upstairs. He is taking shots. Gets one security. Can he get two? Nope. Oh, actually, I think he did. Businessman got both those things. And that looks like to be the round. Yep. Conqueror comes around the corner and takes out Davey. Really unfortunate for security, but I mean, there's not much you can do. This map is just horribly balanced for security. Especially as you can see with these insurgent nades. There is pretty much not, there just isn't much security can do. They can't rush straight on. They get picked on the cross, so they have to wait for smoke. They could use 203s, but you know, they're not. But even if they make it across at, at a decent speed, Insurgents are throwing these wonderful nades, shutting down anything they want to do. And security can't throw their own nades. Sorry, they can't throw nades onto the insurgent side. If they do peek the corner to throw a nade, the insurgent has already thrown his nade and has his gun up. So it's just really unfortunate position for security to be in on this map. There's so many things that this map needs to be tweaked to be like a decent competitive map. Um... There's been a lot of talk of things that could change, but we'll see if Sentry doesn't see the... Okay, there he goes. He completely missed him for the couple seconds there, but does finally get him. <coughs> Excuse me. He is going to be moving into the back C. Oh, but Davey takes out Sleazy. Sleazy was the player... See, there you go. That's where Quicksilver is playing. Oh, that was interesting. It was going to lean. So, a few kills going on here. It changes things to a 3v2. I believe it's are still on B, though. Yeah, they are. So they need to get in to stop businessman here. If they can, if they can shut him down, that turns into a 3v1. There you go. At least they're contesting. That's all they need to do at this point. They need to move Darling with a nice MP5 shot on the businessman. He tried to cross the game. Davey gets the frag on the Quicksilver. They finally figured out where Quicksilver is now. They don't know that, there's a, that, that that player is Quicksilver, obviously, but they can say, hey, wait a minute. I killed a guy here, and I've been dying to an angle that this player could be at, so hopefully they will read into that a little more so it is 4-2 for security this is pretty big for security going into the second half starting insurgent side with two rounds one on security is really major that is really big so we'll definitely see if they can pull out even more wins to switch on the uh to to hold on to sorry for the second half davy might go down to a nade yes he does Nick with a nice nade throw there, preventing security from running around that box. Pretty standard nade. There's Conqueror. He just threw his. He gets a kill as well on the Greedy. Man, ATX have practiced these nades. These are dirty. I would be very curious to see if they have any nades for security side because I do not know of any that are viable that, you know, don't put you at risk. There's a lot of nades security can throw but only if they expose themselves to being shot or expose themselves to being conqueror playing really passive on this B hallway, not actually on the objective. So Dr. Momo came around the corner thinking it was clear, but his gun was up. And Nick with a kill on the sentry as well. Man, DR is just losing players. And this round, at least, it is a 1v5. And B is being capped. So he... Conqueror, I think, saw an enemy. I don't know if there actually was... Yeah, there was. Captain Darling was there. So at this point, Darling is in some trouble. He's got to come around these double doorways, which is very 
Yeah, conquer with a nice shot to Darling. That's the thing about this game. You there really isn't peeker's advantage. Um, peek in this game, like when you're leaning around a corner, peeking is pretty much broken. The enemy actually sees more of you than what your screen shows your model doing. So generally speaking, if you peek around a corner, they're just gonna shoot you in the shoulder before you even peek, which is pretty messed up to be honest. But uh, yeah, that's the unfortunate thing right now in this game. There really is no way to beat uh, consistently a player that's set up in the better tactical position. Hopefully we can make some changes to, you know, flashes and the chest rig to make them more usable. So security setting up really passively here, not pushing much. They've learned from those nades to play it really slow. But anyway, back to, sorry, I was interrupted. Uh, back to my point about uh, the player and the tactical advantage. I would really like to see changes to peak and things. Oh, there we go. I was going to say darling and security. And oh, but they lost two players. DR lost two players out of nowhere, but Davey responds with his own kill. Very nice by Davey. They've got all oh, that glass is just a beacon to the enemy team where he is. Let's see, Camp Darling comes up and takes out Davy. That's unfortunate. But it is 2v3. Can Darling get this kill? Is he right here? He's leaning around the corner. So let's see which one works out. Looks like Nick is on a slow walk around the corner, and Darling was caught with his pants down. Shots from Greedy does not connect he needs to see the player yet yeah, he sees him running in tries to chase him nick is reloading right now but at this point nick has the advantage unless greedy just shoots him in the face very nice by greedy there i honestly was not expecting him to get that kill nick could have uh, easily just tucked in the corner leaned out and seen the security member but it is a 1v1. Oh, I, I, I tell a lie. A was being capped by business. I wish Source TV would show these things. So at this point, it's a 1v5. DR look like they're going to lose this round. Yeah, it is a big shot right in the chest. There you go. So it is 6-2. That was the first half. Like I said, 7-1, 6-2 is pretty, pretty standard for this map. So a very good half by DR to win those two rounds. Specifically, win two rounds in the early part of the half. So very nice. Very good play by them. But, back to what I was saying, I would really like to see some changes to peeking, making it, you know, not so strong that players just peek around corners all the time. Like, it's kind of hard to shoot a player with only shoulders leaning out. But maybe make the distance a little longer so that a player can post up and then lean fire or something like that. I don't know. I guess the real issue is we need to get chess rigs and chess carriers back in the game so that players can hold flashes and smokes. Not two grenades. Two grenades would be OP as crap in 5v5, but giving players the access to more utility and more options to beat, you know, uh, a player that's, you know, for example, prone up in a corner or, or in a really nice uh, uh, vision or something like that. Can, uh, can go a long way for this game, I think. It definitely adds to the tacticalness of it as well. And there's a few other things. But anyway, I digress. I'm just rambling. Um, it's really, not too really nothing to watch in the beginning of this game. So, DR is on a certain side. See, there you go. Quicksilver got a goes really quickly. Wow, look at ATX. They are just dominating this side. They are not letting Insurgents cross the road. Insurgents actually took a long time to cross, which prevented them from getting into this b point and generally speaking a quick insurgent route you will get across Ooh, very nice by nick he was actually prone on the steps there and that's how he saw him greedy with the first kill onto atx very nice. and momo with his own as well very nicely done atx crossed the road just incredibly fast which is really good here uh, they set up properly they prevented insurgents from crossing that road and ATX has a really strong placement here. Oh, but ATX goes and gets a frag onto Greedy just as the point was about to be capped. I believe someone is... Oh, ATX is throwing a nade. Bouncing it in. Won't kill Momo, though. So he will run in after that. Momo there on the corner takes him out. They need the cap. It is a 1v2. Can he do this? He needs to be very careful as he comes around this corner. But Conqueror gets it. He, I believe he was crouched, so his aim was just slightly off there. ATX win a security round. And that was simply because 
Insurgents took too long crossing the road. They uh, they didn't do the fast route. They took time with smokes, which is great. But really, you should be worried about um, insurgent shooting at security, not necessarily security shooting at insurgent. Even though both sides have places they can shoot at each other, I actually find uh, shooting the cross, I find it more successful for me personally when I'm on security than insurgent. But anyway, they will... They need to be taking the faster route across the road. If they let security set up on this road here, like look at this, ATX just straight up running across the road very easily. Security did lose one player, so that's excellent for insurgent side. But if you let, exactly what I was saying, if you let ATX set up on this road or security set up on this road, it is not easy for insurgents to break that because they have to cross it. Conqueror takes out Davy as he was trying to snipe, so it is a 3v3. That, He's not throwing smoke, it's just bugged again. So, it is a 3v3, but like I was saying, if DR is just letting ATX get across the road. And while I talk, Quicksilver does go down. And Nade drops right into Greedy's pants. But they know where he is. I expect an insurgent to come around the corner here any second. Oh, but they can't be. So, it is a 2v5. And Darling gets the kill on the Conqueror. Very nice. It is a 5v1. But like I was saying, let me try and finish my point. Oh, the spawn camp from Nick is real. The spawn camp is real. The security are now running through the other side as Nick tries to make a play at C. He can't do it. It is 1v4. Oh, but he tries to reload and walks around the corner into Darling. So anyway, back to my original point. If insurgents do not take their fast route and let security cross the road first, insurgents have a much harder time crossing the road because security can set up on the dumpsters. They can set up on that little uh, jump dumpster over the wall. Security can throw nades that just completely shut down insurgents. So uh, DR just needs to cross the road. They need to cross the road as fast as possible. They need to pick one security as security crosses because they're doing a speed route, which means the smoke will not have time to deploy fully. Oh, it looks like security took a little bit of a slow route. But anyway, as long as you pick one at the cross, that is all insurgents need. Then the, the insurgents themselves cross the road. The insurgents throw their nades like ATX was doing, and it shuts down security. So we'll see how this goes. Nick is pushing here from cabinet. Might actually take out Greedy as he, uh, he does. Takes out Greedy as he ran cabinet, or uh, whatever that's called. ATX with another nade kill. Wow, that, that's who threw that smoke. I don't know who threw it, but it is definitely favoring security right now two nade kills in this round alone from atx man they know their throws like the back of their hand very normal walks around the corner gets a kill on the business is reloading with this m1a1 here let's see if he can get a second pulls out a nade does cap b though does cap b so it is a 5v4 thick flanks around and gets that kill on a momo momo sorry but it is a 4v4 Security is set up very nicely on B. I expect them to get a full cap here. At this, oh, nice by Conqueror. Set up really defensively, watching that flank from Davey. That was a really good call by DR to send a player to A. Unfortunately, ATX was set up to defend it. So let's see what Greedy can do. He is running through security spawn here. Ooh, is that security? Are my eyes blind? He is leaning. That's why he's like looking straight at the wall. There is a nade at his feet. I would throw a nade, pick up that nade, throw it again. Oh, Darling walks around the corner with a nade in his hand. Very nice by Nick. Greedy. He doesn't. That was dead on Quicksilver, but Quicksilver did not go down. ATX is cleaning up this round. What? That was insane. DR is having a really hard time on Insurgent's side. They won two rounds of security. They played it so well. And yet they're struggling right now on this Insurgent side. This is so interesting. ATX, man. Those nades are just so damaging to DR. And it really just comes down to DR are not crossing the road properly. I mean, when it comes down to what is DR doing wrong, they're just not crossing the road properly. Security is crossing without being contested, without being shot. They're getting, they have the better placement on B. They have the better setup. But here we go. Now, this is the route you need to be seeing. Can insurgents take advantage of this, though? Again, no one shot at security as the cross. Here you go. There you go. Now insurgents are crossing the road. They're getting there, but now they're under pressure. Sleazy takes almost a shot in the arm. Comes around into Momo. Very nice by him. 
that's what I'm talking about. If insurgents can cross the road, they are pretty set, but they need to be careful of these nades. That smoke, I don't know who's throwing it. I don't know if it's security or insurgents, but it is working out. So DR capture B point fully. Oh, wow. Conqueror gets caught up on the door and Sentry runs around right on his face. Very nice. Sentry gets another kill. Flank kill onto Quicksilver there. Very nice. So that call is being made. Business is getting frags on Darling. Let's see. He's running out of B. He's running back onto B. They got, they have to know where he is. And at this point, it's 4v2. I expect Davey to see him relatively soon because he is in this doorway and Davey's running in. Oh, he does get a single frag on a sentry. There was a nade coming in. Greedy, why are you looking behind you? Oh, there is a security on C point. I had told a lie. He does pre fire. He immediately spins around to do the second batch of pre fire. He's pre firing everything, pulls out his pistol. He needs to find the security. And Nick leans around that corner and takes him down. So ATX was really behind in that round. And from all that, pull out a really strong lead. DR is decapping B. But at this point, it's too late. Atrax have respawned from the C point. They need to capture A, but they don't have anyone on it. At least Tac Map says there's no one on it. Some shots being changed from, I believe that's Momo. Oh, Davey and... Davey gets a double kill on the Sleazy and Quicksilver. Very nice, but Conqueror takes out Davey. He needed to play more defensive. Actually, yeah, Tac Map did lie. There was a insurgent on that A point. So, A has now been cleared. It is not capping. DR is capping C, though. They need... They don't. ATX secure their win 9-3. Very close game by DR. They definitely played amazing on security side, winning two rounds. That was so good. So excellent. But they really struggled on the insurgent side of this map. Um, so performance-wise, it was a pretty good game. It was fairly close. There was a lot of good rounds. There was some amazing throws by both teams for smokes and nades. Very very uh practice teams i would say but you know siege is siege and it's a, not a good map <laughs> so thank you guys for watching uh congratulations atx sub for winning and better luck next time dr they definitely had a better performance against atrax main so i i would chalk this up just to map i would say that dr just had a, had a little bit of a trouble on this map alone um, I look forward to seeing more matches from DR. They are definitely a extremely strong team at their full potential. So I look forward to seeing them play next week on a map uprising. I think that will better suit their play style. So I look forward to seeing that. Thank you guys for watching and peace.